Hello, I'm Michael Campbell, Managing Director of Island Car Rentals in Jamaica. Uh, World Travel Market, it's, uh, it's an important show for you within, the, within your yes, annual calendar. It's, it's important for, um, we get a lot of European business, and not just UK, but generally Europe, so World Travel Market is an important show for us. Now, can you tell us a bit about Island Car Rentals as a company? Island Car Rentals um, was established in 1974. Um, it is now the largest car rental company in Jamaica. Um, we do virtually anything with ground transportation. We do um, straight car rentals. Uh, we do uh, tours, private tours. We do chauffeur transfers, general transfers day trips, excursions, private, whatever you want. We don't sell seats, as it were, on buses, but if you have uh, one person, two persons, 20 persons, 30 persons, 50 persons, 100 persons in a group, that's what we do. And what are the biggest changes you've noticed over the, the last 40 years in, in, in Jamaica? Wow, in Jamaica? In the industry or in Jamaica generally? Um, in, in Jamaica and in particularly the travel and tourism industry. Well, the travel and tourism industry um, has shifted very considerably for us. Um, the advent of the all-inclusives uh, meant we had to reinvent ourselves because people staying at all-inclusive seldom rent cars. Um, where we have found... Uh, our market nowadays is um, the ethnic market, um, what we call VFRs, visiting friends and relatives. Um, that travel is very, very strong as well, plus uh, a lot of business travel, uh, technicians, consultants, engineers, things like that. A um, lot of uh, international construction companies for all different types of things as well embassies, that sort of thing. And also on a, a leisure level as well, Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Jamaica's a fantastic country to drive around. People don't usually associate driving holidays with the, in the Caribbean, but it, it's one of those places that's great just to get out there and meet the people, and the best way to do it is by hiring a car and driving around the island. Yes, absolutely. Um, Jamaica is much more suited for it because it's much larger. It's the largest of the English-speaking islands. And um, it, you don't realize the distances because it's very mountainous as well. A um, lot of fairly high mountains, so sometimes driving there is like driving in the Swiss Alps where you're up and down and round about. And um, it, it has a lot to see, a lot more to show than most of the other islands. Um, and the people there are extremely friendly. You know, we used to have Italian clients coming down who didn't speak English. We were a little concerned about them, how they were going to get around. When they came back, oh, they had a wonderful time. They went to here and there, and they met these people, and did you have any problem with the language communication? Oh, no, everybody understood what we wanted. And um, it's fabulous. We're coming back again next year, and we're going here and there, and... You know, there's a lot to see and a lot to do more than um, uh, the average island. As Jamaica's motto is now, um, we're more than a beach. Once you go, you know. And it's, it's a beautiful nation for exploring the interior and, uh, and the mountains. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of, uh, there are sections of Jamaica, believe it or not, that have never been explored. Nobody's ever been in there. It's very uh, rough terrain, mountainous, and a lot of forests and things like that, and um, nobody's ever been in there. Now, how would you like Highland Car Rentals to evolve as a brand? How do you see the kind of next five to ten years? Um, it's going to evolve. It's going to go Caribbean wide sooner or later. That's one for sure. Um, we're going to expand a lot more into. Um, buses, tours, travel, things like that. Um, we are going to 
expand um, size-wise, fleet-wise, and everything else like that to accommodate a lot more and um, explore anything to do with with transportation, ground transportation. Okay, Michael. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on Breaking Travel News. Thank you. Thank you for having us.